Continuing to field questions here for U.S. Samili, Ali Khan from within the Telegram group asks, Hey, Michael, can you do a video on what is essential to annotate from UWorld while doing questions? And should I annotate into first aid or a separate document? Look, I have made prior videos on this stuff. I do not carry the entitlement that you've seen the clips I've already put out. But I have discussed that it is important to keep your annotations conservative as fuck. And that's largely because what you write down at the moment that you think is so important Later on, you're going to see, no, it wasn't. You're going to look back and you, you say, I thought that detail was important. Okay, so uh, keep your annotations conservative. And also, uh, details you write down in the present that you think are difficult, you'll actually look back and see that they were hyper easy. Okay, so it's always a reflection process where you're going to look at your prior annotations and see that they were largely a waste of time. Okay, and I, I have my old first aid 2012 from when I studied for step one. And if I look at some of the annotations, they're laughable. Okay, completely laughable. So keep your annotations concise. And then your, the second part of your question about uh, annotating into first aid slash a separate document. Look, if you choose to annotate into first aid, you never want to take the binding off. And that's simply and, and, and inserting your own pages. You don't want to do that. And as I said, it's because you want to keep your annotations conservative. You should annotate into my high yield PDFs. Okay, that I recommend. They are largely better than first aid. And that's because they are consolidated based on the NBME exams. Okay, I've extracted the high yield info. They are not superfluous. I've used the analogy before that if the US SMLE wants you to know details a through F in order to ace the exam. First aid will cover A through M, and you have to sift through G through M of superfluous horseshit in order to simply learn A through F. My PDFs, they just converge right on the high yield points. They save you fucking time, okay? So annotate into my high yield PDFs and keep what you write down concise, okay? You know the deal. I'm going to continue to make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.